Jacob Sabatka and I would like to show you how to use my new package, Scan Overlays. Let's create. Let's start with the textures and how to add them to the Scan Overlays. Let's have a look on the first example. Okay, let's start to creating this first effect. Let's first have a look. I have on the bottom the background from the backgrounds in the scan overlays and then I stuck a three scan overlays one of them is a kitchen from a house and the second one is uh, Chinese text letters I basically offset them and I'm going to I'm going to create this effect again to just show you how easy it is okay let's go to create I'm gonna start with picking the background I like. You can check all the big backgrounds in the folder I provided in the skin overlays. I really like the, the soft dark, so let's put it here. It's not gonna be the same thing I, I show you, but I will just show you how easy it is to explore and create something new from the scratch. Uh, I start with uh, lowering the opacity and maybe zooming a little bit. This is nice. Uh, as an example, I will add the, the text label. And the label is already prepared. There might be like any of your labels or logo or whatever. Uh, so, and let's make it more visual pleasing. I will pick uh, some overlays. So I'm navigating to the scribbles. For example and maybe let's copy what what i did before so it's like um where is it sorry it's a little bit messy right now i'm looking for house overlays and i don't have everything perfectly yeah there it is and i'm going with this one with the kitchen and as you can see i'm working in uh, 1080p sequence and the uh, providing scan overlays are in 4k that's the reason why i'm downscaling it that's the first thing as you can mention it's um black and white image and we cannot see our text if, if i place it above it so what we want to do is basically uh, use the blending modes and for deleting the black color we will use the screen um yeah that's it basically. We have a white skin overlay with transparent background, which is quite cool, but it's not like everything we can do with it. And we can go and change the white color to whatever we want by using the effect tint. Just simply drag and drop it. And we will try to map the white color to whatever we like. So I will pick the straight red. And as you can see, that's it. We, we already changed it. Really nice. I really like to do the, the stacking of the scan overlays, which means I don't use just one single overlay, but I'm trying to like stack it above each other and offset it. What it means, um, I will pick another one. Give me a few seconds. And I will go with the numbers in this case. So I'm offsetting the scan overlay. I don't know how much it is, just three frames or something like that. Yeah, three. One, two, three, something like that, what you like. And again, I have to downscale it and I'm gonna change the blending mode. And we combine it, <laughs> it looks pretty cool. And what I really like to do is to bring some textures to, to those numbers so you can really play around and that's where the magic begins i like to scale it up and place the numbers as i want it and i'm navigating to my textures and this is like the set of the textures i really like and i'm gonna place the space one so if you want to place texture on your scan overlay and you have to at first make a sequ uh, nest so you have to combine those two layers so i'm gonna cut the, the texture 
select those two clips and click nest. Uh, skin overlay with texture. And it allows me when I open the nested sec sequence to say to the texture that I want to take only color. So I will open the blending modes or you can play around. Also, we can use that fact that the numbers are like black and white. So we will delete everything. What is not a black? Sorry, I'm going to use the multiply. And now we are like making a mask from the scan over which is quite cool. If we want, so we, we have a prepare this uh, nested sequence and we cannot see what is below. So that's because we, we nested and the blending mode is changed to the default. And if we want to see everything below it, we just have to use the blending mode screen again and as you can see it started looking pretty cool yeah so that's one thing we can do i will we'll pick one more to just show you what we can really achieve in a few minutes i will use the numbers again and just offset them a little Okay, it doesn't look good. Maybe let's change the let's change the texture for something like a gold. So nothing more complicated than just drag and drop and using the multiply and going back. Looks pretty sick. Uh, a cool thing to do or I like to do is like um, use the text and use the scan overlays when the text is appearing or disappearing or anything like that. I like to play around with the with the zooming, which means I copy paste the scan overlay and I would like to zoom it and rotate it and do whatever I want. It's like a nice way how to make it a little different. Um, yeah, and I think that's it for the first part of this tutorial, how to use textures and how to change the colors of the skin overlays. You can really play around. One bonus tip is to um, play around with the blending mode different. It's really often create those cool effects. You wouldn't get it. And you can also like, if you change the big, uh, if you change the background of it, for example, if I place it below everything and put the let's see what happened okay nothing happened give me a few seconds you can really get like a interesting thing going on it's not that easy it's much better with the footage um, I'm, I'm gonna increase the opacity so we can see it and I'm gonna change the, the click to the black and white with high contrast. Okay, is this example? I, I don't want to spend much time on it because I have it prepared in, in another sequence. So that's it for the first part, and let's continue with the second one. Let's I really like it to use when I have two clips. And as you can see, uh, it's it looks pretty nice. It acts at a lot of texture. So uh, let's go. We have like, two clips. I duplicate them. This is basic a widow. Uh, I, I just put the black and white on that. And that's it. It's quite boring. It's my friend, Philippa Pohalka. Um, I like to use the background even on those clips to add some like different texture. So I'm going to go to my backgrounds and I like the soft dark. And as you can see, we cannot see the, the background. So I use uh, the multiply because I want to keep, oh sorry, the screen because I want to keep the white noise from the TV. And this is really heavy. 
So I'll basically just lower down the opacity. Uh, you can go with the overlay. You can go with the hard light. It will appear more in the shadow. So it's really up to you what you like and what you want to do with it. But I like to do sometimes the texture on the, on the video and straight away it looks much better in my opinion. Yeah. Uh, in darkness, it darkness the image, you can really change it and adjust it with, with the levels. I don't want to spend a lot of time on it, uh, but it's definitely possible. possible. Yeah, and now it's adding just the, the noise. Yeah. Another thing I, I like to do, uh, as you can see, I, I add the blue, blue, like neon, I don't know how to call it, but it's basically uh, the background red, this, this one, and I add those falling, falling, falling glitches. I really zoom them and do the same process, basically make a screen and I do the opposite opacity mask. I invert it and make mask feather. Something like something like that. And it adds just a like nice I don't know, nice touch in my opinion. And I little little scale it up. Make it a little longer. I really try to use those effects during the during the transition of those two clips. And if you add some additional graphic assets, for example, I add the, the footer and it's connecting those two clips as well, or we can use the the scan overlays, sorry, jump away. Uh, let's go to the, for example, I don't know, spray balls. And what's my favorite one? I really like this one. And let's go with a fighter. We have to downscale it again. Give me one second. Yeah. And I will go to the screen. And what's really nice to do is I'm going to add the texture as we learned before. This one is nice. I'm basically putting above, nesting, and opening the nest sequence and make it multiply. You can also make a little advanced thing. I like to do is to scale the texture, for example, or make some in, make some movement in it, so it's not that static. And when we go back. I need to just uh, make a screen again and let's have a look. Damn, this is so cool. And it took like, I don't know, two minutes to create it. And also, as I mentioned before, when we start to stacking those overlays, it doesn't mean like we have to put a lot of them, but just find one or two or three and it's, it's real amazing. So let's find some scribble again. Or maybe I will import the. Oh, sorry, my bad. I would add some some text or something like that. Uh, uh, I like the Chinese one. Yeah, let's go with this one. And I just offsetting a little. And I'm going to zoom it or uh, yeah, zoom it like that. And I'm going to go with the mode difference and see how it looks. Okay. Let's have a look. Okay. It's not that cool. Make it a little smaller. I don't have any specific idea in my, in my head right now, what I'm trying to do. So it's like playing around. But also cool one is where this subtract. Okay. 
doesn't look nice. Anyway, let's go back. Let's add just some transition, uh, some color to it. And and that's it. Oh, no, that's wrong. Wrong, we need to nest it. So we're going to go with the four color gradient. And we need to apply a uh, blending mo multiplier or color up to you. Okay, that's it. And let's have a look. That's it for today. I thank you for watching. I hope it helped you. If you have any question, hit me up on Instagram or in the comments. Uh, I put a free samples of scan overlays and just try to create anything you want. And happy editing. I'm Jacob. 